I think a lot of lesbian and gay people unfortunately have a rather suspicious, ambiguous attitude towards bisexual people, which of course is totally unfounded and in many ways mirrors the kind of prejudices that heterosexual people often express about lesbians and gays. I've, I can openly admit that in a way I have a, I suppose, a misunderstanding of bisexuals as well. I mean, it is, I, I do un understand it's very hard for a bisexual person because they in a way have to come out twice they've probably come out as being lesbian or gay, then they have to come out as being bisexual. So there's that issue there that a lot of lesbians and gay men don't understand. I mean, they understand their own coming out. But it's very hard, I think, that when you come out as a gay man to relate to someone who sleeps with the same sex as well as someone of the opposite sex. I feel very comfortable with being gay, although I'm quite happy to recognize that there is a small part of me which is heterosexual. Is not a part that I physically express, but I wouldn't preclude that in the future. But I have occasionally had heterosexual wet dreams. I don't feel uncomfortable about them. I don't feel anxious about them. It's a fact of life, and I think it's very important that we get away from this polarity between hetero and homo and recognize that most of us are a bit of a mixture of both. Bisexuals are I think a very diverse group. I find it quite difficult to ask, answer what bisexual people want. From my point of view, what I want is more recognition that bisexuality exists. Um, we're not just closet gays. We are a sexuality in our own right. A lot of people try to say, well, you, you've got to be one thing or you've got to be another. For me, being a bisexual woman is about feeling sexual attraction and emotional attraction for both men and women um, and how I've experienced that and what I've done about it has changed very, very dramatically over the time that I've identified as bisexual, which is basically all my adult life. Being a bisexual mother is less significant than being a single mother in the sense that I've got um, most of the responsibility over my child and um, I have to bring him up in a stable background. We've been seeing each other, seeing each other, been together as lovers and partners for coming up to eight years now. Eight years, coming up to in June. Um, for me, it's the first time, Joe's the first bisexual person I've been out with, and it's the best relationship I've had. I found it very... And you're the first bisexual person I've been out with as well. That's good. And it's a non-monogamous relationship, yes. which has been problematic, but in the long run it's, I think, the only sort of relationship I'd want. Mm. And I think people assume that that means we have lots of hot sex with everyone, but in practice it doesn't actually. <laughs> I'm, I am somebody that says I am bisexual. I speak from my experience and, and what it's been like for me as a person. And in my work I do look at issues of bisexuality and I represent the feelings of a lot of people. And there is really, you know, people say to me, well, why don't you infiltrate the straight community if you're bisexual? And I do, I do both. I, I take my work to gay spaces and to straight spaces because that's the nature of being bisexual. As a transgender person myself, I do find that I've formed relationships within the bisexual community and I can't think of anywhere else I could go really, you know, to be accepted. If a bisexual person wants to have relationships with people of both sexes, then encompassed in a lot of transgender people is that, that very thing, both sexes and the same person. So it's logical that a bisexual person can cope with that persona, uh, you know, more than either a gay or straight person who, who wants to have either a man or a woman. I think it's long overdue that 
the traditional lesbian and gay pride festival was more encompassing of people of different sexualities and different genders. I think we need to recognize that in a culture which is anti-gay, it's not just anti-gay, it's anti lots of things. So therefore I think it's very important that we make alliances and work together with all those peoples and communities who are excluded because of their sexuality, their orientation, their lifestyle, their gender. We decided to change the name because first of all we looked at the event we saw that there was a vast number of different people coming to it. It wasn't just gay and lesbian people and we recognize a lot of gay and lesbian people aren't exclusively gay or lesbian, that they do sleep with members of the opposite sex. And we for many years had this real dilemma with our mission statement that said that we are celebrating the lives of lesbian and gay people, but we're not celebrating the lives of bisexual people, we're merely celebrating the homosexual part of bisexual people's lives. And it was made clear to us by various groups that in fact bisexuality is a sexuality in its own right, it's not a composite. So we decided that we would have to bite the bullet really and come up, come, come clean on what it was we were actually doing, organising an event for all gay people, in, all bisexual people, all transgender people, everybody who doesn't agree with um, heterosexuality is being enforced as the norm in society. And I think that's what the, organ that's what the organization for, and I think that's what the event does. I think what it is is uh, a big standing together and fighting back against homophobia. I think the mission statement for me is the most important thing, that that's, that has been changed. Mm. But if the title hadn't have been changed, I don't think anyone would have, not many people would have been aware that the mission statement had changed. So I think it's good that they've changed both. And people do say it's a long name, and it is a long name, and it's a crap name in lots of ways because it's so long. But people will call it Pride. People always have just said mm. Pride, and they'll continue to. But the fact that it's lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered Pride, transgender Pride, is, is very important. When the word transgender started to go into gay and lesbian Pride, it meant at last there was a recognition for the community of transgender people who represent a section of the gay community and uh, they can now march with pride and actually be recognised for their existence and this was the very first time that their name appeared actually in the march and it was very exciting. It, it was sceptical before as to whether my work belonged in, in a gay festival and now that the festival is changing its name and changing its position uh, politically as a sexual movement I belong a lot more. Um, I'm particularly happy myself because I've been going to Pride since, I can't remember whether it's 1976 or 1977, but I was, uh, I was there as a bisexual woman at that time and I was taken by my bisexual boyfriend. So I think that it's very important that, um, that the fact that we have actually been there um, for all that time is, is put very specifically. I suppose it means that after going to Pride for seven, six years, or whatever it is, that, that um, my sexuality is, is actually acknowledged. I feel sort of, you know... That, that <laughs> We've been validated. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, we are trendy. There's no doubt about that, which is a horrible position to be in, but we can use it to our advantage. I see the future very bright. I think people have more visibility now than they've ever had before. So the thing is, is people have to use that in the right way. Uh, sex and gender will become rather detached from each other and we will see where people appreciate that there's so much freedom in how you can express your sexuality that they won't be constrained by male and female anymore. I think that what might well happen in, in the near future with the bisexual and the gay communities is that the bisexual community, or at least part of it, becomes more integrated with the gay community as indeed it, it used to be. I think that um, it's also going to mean there's going to be a greater discourse in the general queer community about sexuality and perhaps less assumption about what it means to be queer, um, you know, in, sort of in, in, the, mm. in the year 2000. I think there's going to be more discussion around that. Um, I think there's inevitably going to be some sort of backlash against it as well, that some people will become more entrenched within mm. their own definition of their own sexuality. And I think it's very important 
A, that we are actually seen to be working together and not against each other. Because I mean, we're, we're fighting for equality, whether it be lesbians and gays and bisexuals in the armed forces, whether it, whether it be about the age of consent, whatever it's about, these are all issues that affect all of us. And if we can't be seen to be together, then it's going to be even harder to get that equality. So I think it, we have to work as a community, and that includes everyone. Mm -hmm.